Galerius, Emperor of Zenoira. Your ambitions are laid bare, and your empire in ruin. <laughs> if you hope to speak, you'll find me no willing participant. I have no words for you. Earn this. Now. Majesty, but how? Mother! No! I won't lose you again! <laughs> oh, but you shall. How does it feel? Hmm? Your dear mother, slain by your own hand! What's happening to me? This time, we thought she had lost. His strength surpasses even Elenia's. The might of the unicorn runs deep in his veins. It's some trick you've got there, Galerius. But I think it's about time I break this cycle. Strike at this new body of mine, if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command, and a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? Stand and face him, Joseph. None can ever hope to halt my designs. Now bow to you! This day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not. You'll make a fine Zenoiran vessel once it is. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Can you hear me, Elaine? I know you're still out there. Enough. Can't you see it's over? The ring. But why does it hold such vast energy? Seems the maiden was right. Not that I ever doubted her. Now then, let's break this accursed spell together! Give to you! 
It's finally over. I'm here, Elaine. Ah, there you are. Your coronation is set to commence at any moment. A word first, if I may. With the much-awaited fall of Zenoiran rule, we finally attained our most coveted dream. It was a vow I made to the ring itself. A promise fashioned out of steel and blood. Yet, can a champion tempered in the flames of war truly lead in times of peace? From the day of its very inception, Your Highness, the Liberation Army has boasted a singular gift. Its ranks bore nobles, sellswords, and civilians alike. Disparate nations united as one under a common banner. Your banner. None could ever question the strength of such a leader. Now go. Take pride in your triumph and greet your people as their rightful king. Thank you, Joseph. As long as I live, I shall strive to be the ruler Corneas so desperately deserves. Year 906 of the Hollowed Chronicle. Thus, with all of Evereth as his witness, a bold young king ascended the throne. Ere long, the scourge of Galerius and ancient Zenoira would be little more than footnotes on the pages of history. And though scars of war yet blighted the land, its people, awed and inspired by Cornea's noble ruler, began their arduous trek down the path to recovery. Forevermore would the Chronicles of Vevereth extol the Savior Elaine's sacred journey, a legend only embellished in the generations to come. That of a divine beast and a liberator king that bore its name, the Unicorn Overlord.